You just witness what happens every day by millions of people that gives rise to a very important problem. It's no secret that we have all thrown a piece of trash in a bush at the park or on the sand at the beach, but it's also no secret of how this affects our planet. Why do we still do it then? Pollution? Who even cares? Ever heard of a plastic island before? All the small pieces of trash we just toss aside end up in large clumps in the ocean. Clumps, when big enough, form islands of pl waste products. Besides the fact that this is totally unsanitary, it is also affecting many species of birds, fish, and other marine life. This is one example of multiple problems that occurred from the formation of plastic islands. You may be thinking to yourself, it's only a couple of birds. But what happens when one of those birds gets eaten by another animal, or that bird dies and decomposes? The waste that that bird ate does not decompose, and where does it go? Back into the environment. If we dispose of trash properly, we can prevent this from happening. Last summer, I went to the beach, and I noticed an old man who had a bunch of trash bags. He kept walking up to people and asking them for something. Later that day, I noticed him again, and this time, he was trying to tackle a seagull. I didn't understand why. Maybe he was trying to catch it for dinner or just patronizing it. A lot of other people noticed as well, and they became very concerned. I wondered why the bird wouldn't just fly away or why it was so quiet. When I got a better view, however, I noticed that there were soda can ringlets around the bird's wings and throat. He was only trying to help. Another man came up to him and he asked if he could help him catch the bird. When they finally caught the bird, they took off the ringlets. Then the old man stood up and approached me. He bent down and picked up an empty container that was next to my feet. Then he said, God bless, and walked away. A lady then came up to me and said that she had seen the man earlier picking up litter, putting it into his bags, and throwing it into the trash cans. It was just a few small pieces, but it made a big difference. I noticed that the beach did in fact look cleaner. A couple weeks ago, I was at the park, and I saw a woman with her baby and a toddler standing next to her. The baby had some sort of trash bag in his hand, or paper bag, and he kept tearing off small pieces and throwing it behind the lady's shoulder. I don't know why the lady didn't care or she just didn't notice, but she didn't stop to pick up the small pieces or take the bag away from the child. Even though she didn't care, her toddler standing next to her, he went behind her, picked up every small piece of trash and threw it into a trash can nearby. A toddler of merely four years cared enough to pick up the smallest piece of trash and we can do the same. If you see a piece of trash, I challenge you to pick it up, dispose of it properly. It can be on your way to class, it can be on your way to the bathroom, or it can be walking down the street. I'll leave you with just a few words. We can do our best to honor a small request and preserve our planet's health. It'll take less time than to pay the fine and maintain a better view. There's only one solution to this pollution, and that solution, it's you. Woo!